Hi brothers and sisters, Bishop Hansen had asked me to address the ward uh, in a video and uh, I'd like to be totally honest that this is not my favorite thing to do, but um, he set a good example in his, his counselors as well in, in um, reaching out to the board like this. I think it's a great way to do it. I'm a little out of my element because I feel inadequate doing something like this. I, as many of you know, I'm, pro I'm, I'm probably more of an extrovert than, than most and I, I love to talk to people and visit with you all in the ward, um, but standing in front of people and just talking just me, especially when it's in a camera, <laughs> it's not my favorite thing to do. But um, I did, I, I just prayed really hard to try to find what um, the Spirit would have me share today. So I hope that I'm able to, to do that well. I try to find a quiet place in my house. Um, and I'm outside my house, so this is the quiet place, the quiet, quietest place I could find. And it's it's my one of my favorite views ever. So we have, you know, these beautiful mountains in the background that just mean Buena Vista. And it means home. And um, and I love it. And I get to look out my back window every day and see this. So this is pretty great. Uh, so I honestly had a really low point this week. I, earlier in the week, I think Tuesday, Tuesday or Wednesday maybe, I, I had some really bad thoughts coming in my head about myself, about my inadequacy in my life uh, as a mother, as a wife, uh, as a Relief Society president. Um, and I let them pester me and I let, I let them stay for a little bit and, uh, being home with just my kids, um, you know, all day, every day and, and my husband, uh, needing to work, uh, you know, it, it, it not being able to see you all not being able to socialize with others, um, this wore on me. And I think that um, there were some, those thoughts were just telling me that I wasn't good enough and that I, I wasn't doing enough things to um, be worthy of, I don't know of what, but um, I had a moment where I kind of broke down and 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 kind of said those things out loud and, and to my husband and my mom was there too and uh, and that's the last thing they wanted to hear was me talking badly about myself um, and is really setting the standard for myself that the world is setting. It's not what Heavenly Father wanted for me and what He wants me to do. And I was I was listening to the, to the worldly standard that I was setting my worth on the things I could get done in a day. And those things weren't happening. And my house is a mess. And you know, and I wasn't doing all those cute things with my kids that are all online. And um, and I was trying, and my house isn't super organized, like everyone else seems to be organizing their houses right now, and by everyone else, like who, what does that even mean? So, um, yeah, I just was setting, thinking about what the world standards was for me at this, this, this time, and um, I just had a really low point, and my husband and, and my mom were there at the same time, and and luckily they were there and they were, you know, those, those angels that we've been promised at those times that will come buoy us up and they were there to help with that. And the rest of the week was, was a lot better. Um, the next day the bishop asked me to do this message and I have had been trying to think about what, what to say. I, I, that's another one of my insecurities. I don't feel like the most eloquent speaker and uh, I don't feel like the best teacher. Um, and so what could I be worthy of saying? But uh, I just want to testify that 
that once I I turn to uh, the Spirit, once I turn in prayer to my Heavenly Father to use the atonement in my life to build myself up, um, to, to buoy, buoy myself up uh, by using the atonement that that it did happen and it did got, get better. Um, and once I did turn and, and become totally vulnerable to the Lord, He helped me and it got better. <laughs> I know that we've all had those feelings at this time. And this, this weird last few months where we've had some low points and I want to testify to you that it does get better. And, um, and don't listen to those voices that are coming to you that are saying you're not good enough, because you are, and uh, the Lord is there to help you. And I just know that that is true. Um, I want to share a short message from um, the support guide, Help for Spouses and Families of Those in Recovery um, book. Uh, it's also on the Gospel Library app. So there's a section uh, on principle number three. He will take upon him the pains and the sicknesses of his people. And the section says, giving our burdens to the Lord. As we come to Christ in faith and rely upon him to bear our heavy burdens, we can experience his healing power. Elder Richard G. Scott counseled, many of you suffer needlessly from carrying heavy burdens because you do not open your hearts to the healing power of the Lord. Lay the burden at the feet of the Savior. The Lord is anxious to bless us. We can find great strength as we give our burdens to the Lord, relying wholly upon the merits of him who is mighty to save. As we strive to come unto Christ and exercise our faith in him, he will give us strength beyond our own. Jesus said, if ye have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. When we remember that our Savior is there to help us, our simple faith will grow and increase. Elder Jeffrey R. Holland taught, The size of your faith or the degree of your knowledge is not the issue. It is the integrity you demonstrate toward the faith you do have and the truth you already know. It's from the talk of the Lord, I believe. Um, So, like I said, I don't feel like the most eloquent person. I don't feel like the most knowledgeable person. I'm not a scripturian, but I do know that this church is true. I do know that the atonement is real. I have used it in my life. I don't know how it works, but it does. And I've been there where I don't know how I'm going to get through those hard days. And I look back and I got through them. And it was because of the atonement, because I prayed for help. And I searched the scriptures for help. And I know that if you do that, uh, you will be blessed and buoyed up as well. And I love you, and I'm grateful for you and all that you're doing. There's so much being done for each other, so much ministering being done that is seen and unseen, mostly unseen. And I'm so grateful for it. And I love you, and I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.